Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and tonight I'm going to unbox another in the Lock and Load Tactical System series from Lock and Load Publishing. This time it's Heroes of the Motherland, the conflict between uh, Germany and Russia on the Eastern Front. So we're going to take a quick look inside the box, see what you're going to get. Um, again, you get the nice uh, large, uh, about three inch box. Uh, a little over three inches for the box. About the size of a GMD coin game uh, the box, so plenty of room on your shelf, hopefully. And uh, again, I expect nothing nothing less than the, the current uh, excellent printing from, from Lock and Load. Alright, it shrinks off, I'll shoot the lid off. Let's get sound effects here. How appropriate. We get a red die. Uh, so you can get two dice. You get the module rules and scenarios. It is full color. Got kind of a red tinge to this one. Again, the uh, production values are really good here. Got the uh, Soviet posters, so on and so forth. There's the uh, linen and the uh, Oh, Uncle Joe. Um, oh, don't want to give these away. These are events, apparently. Okay, so we're going to be at 55 pages here in the scenario. Got random events for the campaign mode. Count the number of scenarios we have here. We have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve scenarios, a campaign, which I'm not even going to try to pronounce. And one, two, three, four, five more scenarios. So Seventeen plus a, uh, a campaign mode. One of the nice things they've added in this latest printing, too, is if you're new to the series, they're going to, uh, they normally put the scenarios in. Uh, so in a chronological order, but then, yeah, for thematic effect in date order, aka chronological order. Uh, if you're new to the system, then it tells you which scenarios to play. The first one, uh, Rotten Krieg, uh, is a small footprint, only infantry, um, some weapon teams, support weapons, as well as off-board military. Second scenario is Better Holiday. And it adds uh, some armored vehicles, so it, it introduces you into, you know, bigger and bigger uh, implementation of the rules. So that's definitely a nice touch they've added. So, all right, so you're gonna get this very nice rules. Uh, this is the module rules. So you're gonna get a rule book for World War II, and you're also gonna get the module rules, which tell you the specific uh, changes and uh, uh, special circumstances for the. Uh, modules in this game. All right, so it appears we're going to get five counters. Now this is a, uh, seems to be mostly, um, they're the five eighths inch counters are mostly um, uh, markers, etc. You got your uh, hatch open indicators here. Um, you have your hero uh, markers, um, for your hero ability markers I should say. So this is just a sheet. Normally you'd, uh, on these new ones, you have the, the smaller counters here, you have some medium weapons teams here, and then you have the, the uh, armor down low, the vehicles. So we'll see those in the map. So there they are. I'll punch out a, a larger counter. All right, so we've got some maps. And this one we have like four maps. Look at these, they are double sided. This is map 49, 49B. And in this case, like we saw with some of the other in the series, it's a variation of the same geographic region, just some differences. Like this has now been built, looks like a hangar or something like that. And now it's not there, so. 
Alright, so it's mostly an urban looking map. And then 46. Interesting what that is there, the green building. It's got the red dot, so you know it's two story. And again, 46B seems to be a variation of the same thing. This field is now missing. When you flip it over, you got this thing here. It is the factory. All right, so then 45. More rural, a few buildings. 45B. Got a hill in here. It wasn't there before. And finally, we have 21. So we just made a big, big jump. Big jump to 21 here. We did 21 Jump Street, I guess. 21 Jump Map. Right. So you got four maps so far. Maybe there's more. Who knows? Let's see. So then you gotta get your rule book. This is the standard World War II rule book. Same thing that's gonna be in every one of the uh, Makalo Tactical uh, releases. If I remember calling correctly, it's about 60 pages. 63. If you've not seen it before, watch any of my other videos. It's full color, very well laid out, large print, easy to read, easy to find. Uh, rules are cross-referenced. Let's modify it from Ambush 8.4, so you know to go to the 8.4 section. It's a good, it's a good rule book. Teach you the system pretty well. So now we got the rest of our counter sheets. You'll see what I was saying here before. So I don't really get the smaller ones up here, and then the medium and the larger ones. Okay. So we got some uh, got their SS troops here, regular German troops. Some vehicles, and like I said, they punch out really nice, pre-rounded. I mean, you can be playing pretty darn quick, especially if you're the kind that just punches out what you need, um, or you can build uh, uh, custom boxes for each of the forces. So, nice sturdy, sturdy counters. Okay. So you're gonna get five sheets, you get the one counter sheet, and then four of these. They're gonna be mixed and have, ooh, flames. It's just gonna get set on fire. Awesome. Russian troops, German troops. Some more, some more markers. A lot of trench counters here. All right. We've also got uh, some orange units here. We got the Red Star. This is obviously a special, special Russian group here of some sort. And the brown ones are too, so you got the red, the brown, the orange. And another set of counters here. Again, a lot of Russians. I've not played this on the uh, Eastern Front with Lock and Load, so this will be pretty cool. Alright, so there's that. And then we've got charts. We have our standard, you know, modified for this game, but the standard package in usually includes this, uh, your direct fire table, your uh, direct fire modifications, your ordnance table, your terrain guide, which will cover the special, uh, the special exceptions that are just for this, for this game and these, these modules. So it's nice gloss coated cardstock, two pages fold out. And this has the small has you know smaller print which is good because I like that you get a lot of information on a single card instead of a bunch of big cards. And then we get the rules reference card. This also coded cardstock. Opens out like that. Double sided. Covers the different things you're gonna have to look at. Um, Special rules for the Germans, partisans of the orange guys, Soviet forces, so on and so forth. Along with a, a nice uh, reminder what the uh, numbers on the counters mean. Keep that. Quality on these, all excellent, as always. 
This is going to be your hero skills reference card. Those are those little brown counters we saw. And it just folds out and tell you what the uh, different skills available are. Again, let's see it. Uh, this could be smaller. This really should be smaller, in my opinion. Because in this case, the font's not really that big. So, I know as guys like me get older, you kind of want bigger print, but this isn't even that big a print compared to, say, the rule book. So, this could have probably been condensed. You got a lot of blank space here. That probably could have been put together. So, the last thing you want to do is when you whip this out, is go bam and knock your counters all over the place. All right, okay, turn and tracker. Casualties. Rolls. Unfortunately, they make this single sided. I've seen other games where they make this thing double sided, and you end up. Uh, so I'll go move everything off so I can see the other side. Okay, now we've got sequence of play reminder weapon, ammo, and targets. This is nice so when you're uh, you don't have to pick up a counter necessarily to find the one that's fire table, you can just look it up on here and make your fire. Now, this is interesting. I oh, we got more maps. Yay, more maps. So, I have not seen one of these games yet that have a campaign built into it. So, we have the random event table we saw in the other book, but then also campaign points and different scenarios. She just used track, please photocopy. So, this is definitely something you want to copy and write on. Or you could just Write it on a sheet of paper. But I've not seen a campaign before, so that's that's pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna get some more maps here. These are the standard size maps, these are not the X maps, which are available optionally. We have 48. Ooh. It's a nice bridge map. And then we have oh, single-sided. So draw your own map. I'm fighting a Walmart. Okay, so 48, 47, 47 single sided, totally, totally rural, got some fields, trees, this road, and again they're, I'm sure you've figured it out if you've played any kind of games before, these are geomorphic, so they're designed to go together and create a big map going in, create a map, except that river is not really going to just dry up there, is it? But they don't design scenarios to be stupid. 40. Looking like a rural, I mean, an urban map. Got a big, it's going to be a factory over here. Okay. Because, you know, Stalingrad wasn't a bunch of farms. It was a city. Wow, well, you got a lot of maps here. This is great. 44. And then single sided. Now we're bound to the small numbers. And how this happened is when the first version, the original version of this came out, there were expansions and expansions added maps. Well, what uh, Lock and Load tried to do this time around was to take all the expansions, bring them all together in one roof, in one box, and then you can just buy the game and then you have the game. So that's where you're going to have maps of low numbers and high numbers. Also, single sided map 19. Okay, so we are going to count these out here. Let's set these aside. So you're going to get a campaign card. Nice, nice touch. Gives you some ongoing theme. You get the rules reference sequence of play card. Turn tracker. All these are nice card stock. Uh, the oversized skill reference card for the heroes. And you get the rules reference card, also double sided. You get the terrain table, direct fire, ordnance fire table, start. You're going to get five sheets of counters. That's four of them. That's five of them. You're going to get the core rules manual 4.1 for the World War II era. And you are going to get. One, two, three, four, double sided. Five, six, seven, eight, 
10 map cards and the module rules and scenarios. Two dice, nice large box. That is what is going to come in. Heroes of Motherland by Lock and Load Tactical System by Lock and Load Publishing. And we'll get it centered there. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you.